What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing another five things I hate. Uh, this here is the John Deere Gator 855 diesel. Uh, this is a pretty awesome machine, but there are some things that I hate about it. So in today's video, we're gonna go over five things that I really don't care for. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty, okay? so. First of all, this machine has 900 hours on it. I've put most of the hours on it. It has about 2,500 miles on it. Um, I'm on the second set of tires. Um, we've had it for a couple years here, uh, and it's been a pretty darn good machine. Been pretty reliable. Um, I've done oil changes every 100 hours. Um, for the most part, it's 100%. It's awesome. Uh, the couple things that I don't like about it, I'll be honest with you, I don't have five bad things to say about this machine. Um, one thing that I just that bugs me up and down is the stupid lock on the glass door. I don't know if anybody else has any problems with it, but this little push button on the on the door is a pain in the butt. It's always falling apart. It's always coming apart. Uh, the lock cylinders fell out multiple times. I've rebuilt it multiple times, um, and in fact, all I've done is epoxy everything into place so that it will function. Um, you can no longer lock it. It's just something that that's there for a push button and all I've done is glue it. So that's kind of a design flaw, it's kind of a cheap design in that lock, and that's the reason why I don't like it. Another thing, the second thing that I don't like is there's virtually no storage space in the cab of the Gator. So I love the glass, I love uh, the windshield and all of those things. Um, you know, you, you love the power steering, all the great features of it, but it doesn't even have so much as a, as a little glove box. There is a little compartment underneath the seat but it really doesn't offer all that much storage room. So that's, that's another thing that I don't like about it. All right, the last and final thing that I can really figure out uh, that, that I don't like is the fact that these mud flaps are always in the tires. So I've never figured out a, a way to uh, kind of get these mud flaps to stay uh, ahead of the tires. When you back up, these mud flaps come up in here like this. And I'm not sure why that, why they, they've designed it like that. I really don't like that. Um, but really, it's just an aesthetic thing when you're looking at the Gator. I just don't like how those mud flaps uh, um, do that on both sides. So I really have only b bad three kind of nitpicky things to say about it. There's nothing bad with this machine. It's an excellent machine. Um, it's 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 uh, ran its butt off. It's done a lot of idle time, and uh, it's done a lot of good work. It will literally go anywhere, do anything. Um, I've never got it stuck. I've had it buried up to the frame in mud, um, just out doing grounds work, and it is absolutely flawless. Um, the four-wheel drive is kind of a pain sometimes because it doesn't want to come unlocked. You do have to back up when you when you take it out of four-wheel drive, but that's not something that I'm going to put on, uh, something I don't like about it because literally every four-wheel drive vehicle that I've owned sometimes does that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the quick down and dirty video on five things, but really, only three things that I hate about the Gator. I hope to see you guys click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, as always, interact with me in the comments. We'll talk about it. If you have a Gator yourself, let me know some of the things you don't like about it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you in the next video.